everybody, my name is Monoxide. One half of the demented duo known as Twisted. And I'm Jamie Madrox. And we're here on G4 TV Freestyle 101 about to go in that booth to get naked. He might be about to take some stuff off. We're going to go in there and spit some rhymes for y'all. And I heard that he's going to do a freestyle dance, so stay tuned. It's going to be hot. Twisted. G4. First time ever legendary status. It's the first time it's ever going down. I'm twisting like a bread tie on a bread bag. That's just wonder on the side. Wonder why, wonder why. I'm inquisitive. I always think that everybody's dissing me. And if I'm right, at least that means they're all listening. Jamie Madrox hit me on the celly in L.A. About to blow up in wild like Peter Petrelli. That's my road dog, M-O-N-O. And Yo. if you don't know him, motherfucker, then fuck y'all. I play Call of Duty since I was two. They ain't let me on the game, no. That's all right, though. I shot like 250,000 people in a span of 30 seconds. This motherfucker's got crazy kills on PS3. That's what he does. I met John Madden and I kidnapped his ass. Stole a new man 07, but wait, that's old. He stole his ghetto pass straight up out of John Madden's back pocket. Yeah. I wanted to get a freestyle dance. Oh, okay, let's do the freestyle dance. Look right there. Man, growing up in Detroit was crazy because everybody freestyled and that's how we knew that we sucked right off the bat is because we couldn't you know well I, I could dance he was more of the he's the dancer but we learned fast that you had to do certain things you always had to have rhymes and collective junctures in your head to be ready because if anybody tried to challenge you you had to have something or you had to fight yeah and believe it or not I'm the bigger half and he can fight better so he saved my ass I am the kicker of he's the gluteus kick- maximus the freestyle battles always happened at the hip hop shop, always downtown. It was like, that's the mecca. You know, everybody else, okay, you can go over here to the to the shelter and do it, but it was like to make that name in it, you had to go to the hip hop shop. But that's you can't forget about hot hits and record time because rappers would congregate in parking lots next to the dumpsters. I mean, that's what I mean. It would be get their everywhere. You, I mean, you couldn't go anywhere around that without catching it, but to make Cypher. a name. Ciphering. Cipher. That's what they did. You had to go to the shop, man. That's where it's that's true. where all the true ones came from. That's where we used to get thrown out of, you know, twice a week. Just because we sucked. We but knew people, that's how we got in. When they weren't by us, that's how we got thrown out. I see people get shot over freestyle battles just from the high school I went to. That was insane. If somebody rapped on you and you didn't have that quick comeback animosity instantly took the better half of you and ignorance would spark from it which was exactly. retarded because if you knew what you were doing you know what i mean it's like even break dancing back in the days if electric boogaloo came on and you got schooled with the worm what do you do you cry it off i went to school with proof and i watched him from ninth grade to 12th grade destroy everybody in a high school it was like amazing that's when i was truly blown away by it because he would rap and he'd be talking about shit, you pull it out of his pockets like cologne or a pack of cigarettes and just people were blown away by that. I would say he's the mecca of freestyling. Yeah. Proof, proof was the man. He was Absolutely. amazing. We speak for the forgotten, you know? It's that's true. it. We talk for the people that nobody wants to listen to, not even their parents. And that's why these crazy people are going up in the malls and shooting people in high schools because nobody wants to listen. And there's not enough of bands like us to speak the word for them people, so they just feel like they're talking to a wall. Nothing's ever gonna change. We try to kind of bring some light to the way these kids feel, because we felt the same way. If it wasn't for him, I probably would've killed myself years ago. I'm glad you're still here. 